of El Tule where we're going to see a ginormous tree that is just humongous you're not going to believe it when you see it but this is what the surrounding area looks like some of the most unique plants I've ever seen. Here we have the tree. Look at the size of that thing. It takes 32 people <coughs> holding hands to make a circle around the tree.
We are now at an indigenous people group named the Zapotec that do traditional weaving of rugs and carpets and they dye their yarn with natural ingredients. De toda esta planta se cuece, todo, 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 todo se cuece y se deja fermentar 26 días en tanques hasta obtener una pasta. Aquí está la planta ya fermentada por 26 días. ¿eh? Es un proceso muy largo para obtener esta pasta. Entonces, cuando ya está hecha la pasta, se muele en la licuadora prehispánica. Todos los puntitos dan que se vea que esta cochinilla. Sí, cochinilla. Esta es una plaga, pero también se cultiva, ¿eh? porque hay cochinilla silvestre. Cochinilla silvestre no sirve, se despinta. Y esta hoja de nopal es de San Gabriel o de Castilla. Esta hoja de nopal no se come, es especialmente para agarrar la cochinilla. Entonces le pone un macho y una hembra para que reproduzca. Entonces cuando ya está la hoja, el macho se va, el macho tiene alas. Cochinilla. Vámonos. 
símbolo de la lluvia. Ya seamos más pequeños, esmoles, diamantes, zapotecos, de zapotecas. 35 días de trabajo, 35 días de trabajo. El símbolo de maíz, abundancia, el símbolo de córdoba, los colores pasteles. El símbolo del viento, de Wind Design. Diamante zapoteco, de zapoteca. ¿Cuál es el significado de Es el símbolo del sol, de energía de protección, que es ah, okay. Vida y movimiento, de moving de life. Colores naturales de las lanas, de natural colores, no dais de gol de chico. Se zapoteca. Se mande zapoteca, se zapoteca. This place is named Mi'la. It is translated to the place of death. This is a church that was built on top of the pyramid built by the Zapotecans 800 years ago. What the design of the wall was 800 years ago. The original was 1600 years ago. This part was the palace. Ahora, la conservación de este edificio se mantendrá porque nunca estuvo enterrado. These walls were built concave, if you can see. It starts at the top and then they're built this way so that the rain never touches the decoration and cut into the stone. He also told us that this palace, all of this that you see here, was never underground. It's always been above ground.
acá. Hubo otro edificio igual acá. So the foundation has been repainted with the original color that was 10 years ago, but up in the decoration you can still see the original red paint from 800 years ago. It's amazing. So the guy just told us that all these stones are placed there's over 10 i think can't remember sorry i can't remember if he said 10,000 or 100,000 stones no mortar is used they're just all in place so that they can be flexible when they have earthquakes that's amazing that it's withstood all this time So these columns are one solid piece and they had no horses to use back then. What he said is that they rolled them down the hills. I can't even imagine how much sound that made and how much work that was to get it from the hills into the courtyard here with no horses. one stone one solid piece and he said they used logs and rolled them down here and then used them to put it in place so this is the original red that they used and it's red clay that's what they used on the outside for the decoration this is the inside part that has the roof So this stone work here was all the decoration on the outside of the stone and clay walls. And the church took the decorative stones to build the church up on the hill. So this is how steep these steps are. They almost go straight up and down.
Ik ga gewoon. Oh wow. Plomo that it's in the mezcal, but now it's uh, without plomo, don't worry about it. Okay, I told you guys that different type of agave. One of them it's espadin, is a very common. The name of espadin it's for the it's for the pencas, that it's the pencas, okay chicos? The pencas have a, a, a form like a sword. Yeah, no? Sword, yes, yeah. yes. For that reason the name is Padin, okay? And also we can get uh, we can see other type of agave, okay? Also it's all part of this espadin. Uh, it's necessary that the espadin grow up more more or less like at 10 or 12 years. Yeah? Yes. In that time the agave is ready to cook and start the process of fermentation of the cooking. find this type of agaves in the mountain you know another two years to these agaves grow up and cut it yeah for that reason it's very special when you drink a white agave it's like a drink a wine most people uh, compare the mezcal white agave with the wine because it the time the, of the process it's uh, it's a lot of time you know in the plant to grow up uh, it's necessary 20 years to years. Yes. Well, the people of Borhid drop the agaves here and cover it with uh, other type of of uh, how can I say uh, tela, you know, other type of tela of material in the top to the hot of the stuff keep in the in, 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 in the in the part of the of uh, up there yeah. on the ground, you know, like, like carbon, yeah. And I put you can eat it, you can drink it, and you don't be drunk because it's just sugar. For that reason, they pass this object and start to boil, you know. With this fermentation, uh, uh, the smell, you know, the, I don't know what to say, uh, the vapor, yes. pass with uh, with this complex that is here, the pass with it, and the final is cut. can dance. Yeah, yeah. And the final is the process of scalp, and this. Would you like? 